Hi, I'm Marie from Live Oak Coaching, and I'm here to talk to you today about including, excuse me, including images on your website. If a picture is worth a thousand words, or rather a thousand clicks, then images are just as important as your content. Including images on your website and your blog posts is going to make your content more interesting and appealing. And this is really critical because your average web surfer has a really short attention span, like eight seconds. So if you have some images on there, this can help you stand out from all the noise online. And images can give, you, give your website uh, the right feeling that you want and based on your brand. And you don't want to give them the wrong impression. And the majority of the readers will never read your entire blog post. They're just going to scan it for information and, and then move on. But if you break up your content with images, you can possibly keep them engaged through your content and kind of push them down through, through your content and increase the time on site. And you're engaging them and they might like what you have to say. But why are images so important? And I have some statistics for you. The brain processes visuals 60,000 times faster than it does text. And researchers found that colored visuals increase people's willingness to read a piece of content by 80%. Content with relevant images gets 94% more views than content without relevant images. So what is the right image? First off, I like free images. For me, my niche, I don't really need to buy images, and you may not either. I would encourage you to check out all the royalty-free images first before you spend any money on that. And finding an image that speaks to the content that is not too literal but compelling, even a little abstract, is what you want to look for. The more interesting, the better. And you want to, if you can keep your reader engaged with your content, they're going to stay longer. And interesting images will certainly help with that. And please try to avoid using uh, those sterile stock photos out there. You know the ones I'm talking about. They got the model holding the phone or sitting at the computer. I, I, there are way more interesting images out there than, than those, and they're overused. I go with my gut when I'm looking at images. I, I usually go for the ones that give me a reaction and then they stay with me and I keep going back. Or, or lately, I just download it so I can keep going because I can spend hours looking at images. That's just what I do. So uh, in terms of time, I just will download one that's a possibility and then I go back and then I know that's the one or that's the one. And I like to wait till I'm done with my content before I start looking at images because there might be something in there that an image is going to speak to and that makes my decision making a lot easier too. And I look forward to that part so that's kind of like the reward at the end is I get to look through images. And it's, it is fun going through all of those images. I'm probably on the verge of falling in love with photography, um, all in good time. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm more focused on my business, but down the road, that's a possibility for me. And I highly recommend that for you. If you like photography and you like taking pictures, that, that would be the best way to show off your personality and your brand is to have your own pictures, your own images on, the, on your website. And also smartphones do a really good job with uh, taking pictures these days. You get some really beautiful photos or if you have a fancy SLR camera. But for now, if you're like me and I'm just using images from online, I have some nice sources for that, for some royalty-free images. They're listed on my blog post, but I, I can just tell them to you quickly here is, the first one is bossfight.co. 
the stocks.im, stocksnap.io, and minim minimography.com. Just be consistent with the images that you pick. Don't have beautiful landscape one post and the next post you have some silly cartoons that don't really make any sense just because you liked them. You want to make sure that it's reflecting you and your brand. Otherwise your readers aren't going to get you. Also size is important with your images. You want your largest image at the top of your post. Uh, with WordPress you can pull that in using the featured image button and then your smaller photos you want them larger than a thumbnail which is 150 by 150 and I can I've aligned them on the left and then on the right and you can have it trail down your post and also these photos they do have the small medium large where you can pick what size you want to upload onto your post if there's if the size isn't working for you, I have a nice free tool that's easy to use. It's called iPicky, which is i p i c c y dot com. I also have the link on my post. Uh, that's good for sizing and some other effects uh, that you like to use for the, for your images. And lastly, make sure that you fill in your alt your title and your alt tags for your images for good SEO, and just have fun with it. You know, we're all unique and, and we all have different ideas on what is interesting and compelling. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. And if you're interested in building, branding, and managing your own business right the first time, please don't hesitate to contact me at liveoakcoaching.com or connect with me on social media. I hope you found this po this post this video helpful and I'd love to hear from you. With that, have a great day and God bless.